All right, time to get this done. All right, guys, today is Wednesday. Today is the last day that I have a full day because tomorrow we leave around this time. So that's it, 24 hours to go. The only thing left to do is to get these cells and put them in there. So let's start that. But as you can see, I'm starting really late. The sun's going down already. And the reason is because I had to do some, you know, I had to, I had to work. I want to flip this car around because it'll be easier to take the battery out. Okay, here's an important thing. I know this, the cells in this battery pack are about 90% state of charge. I know these cells in both of these vehicles, right? That one, the lithium iron phosphate, and these Tesla packs are about 50% state of charge. So, what I did as soon as I got here, I kind of hooked it all up. So that I could charge it because I don't I'm not really a big fan of inrush currents when you're talking about you know in this level this level of inrush current so I don't want to connect packs that are 90% state of charge with a pack that is 50% state of charge so I'm bringing this one up I have my charger here um, and we're not quite there yet, but by the time I think I get those packs in here, it'll be, it'll be closer. So, let's get this done. I think it's done. This is my trailer, my long range extender or range extender trailer. Um, the only thing I'm gonna do after this is just cover it up with a, just a moving blanket and then, you know, strap it with some, zip, with some of those ties or whatever. And that's gonna be it. Um, I really don't have any time. It's super late. We're leaving less than, I don't know, like 12 hours or something. So. I still have to take this to the DMV and get it permitted, which maybe I should have done that before throwing, you know, uh, 42 kilowatts, kilowatt hours of battery in there. But I didn't, because we just got the lights working, so I couldn't have done it, you know? I was like, I don't know. I, I guess if they don't, if they don't approve this thing, I guess, uh, I don't know. Go ahead and take it or something. I don't know. Um, but they have to approve it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what they're looking for or what they're going to look for, but hopefully, I'm hoping that they're going to just approve it. So let's talk about this thing. This is 42 kilowatt hours. Um, each module has 333 cells, there's 14 modules. That means there is a total of 4,620 18650 cells in here. Uh, there are, so what's, uh, what's the configuration for this thing? Um, okay, each module is 15S22P. Each two of these modules are connected in series and then they're parallel to, a, to a other to, to another two modules and then to another two modules. They go down like that. So there is seven groups of cells here, or seven groups of, of batteries, which are... So the trailer alone is 400 amp hours. Um, plus I have another 180. So we add that 180 
So we're looking at 580 amp hours. That's my battery pack. It's a total of 62 kilowatt hours, 42 here, and then another 20 in Samba. So 62 um, kilowatt hours. That's more than a, uh, well, what used to be the Model S. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a, that's just a bunch of batteries and they're connected in the trailer and then those are connected straight into the battery of the Samba. There's, there's nothing weird. It's just, uh, if you were watching earlier my channel, you might have missed it, but as we were taking these down, trying to take them off of the box, we dropped them. I dropped them and they suffer a little bit of damage here. Luckily, it was just uh, kind of structural, like none of the cells got damaged and not one little cable got disconnected that was one of the leads for the balance leads that lead to these uh, plugs or whatever. But we don't need that and it's easy. I could just solder it in there or, you know, connect it back up. Um, yeah, these things are pretty tough. As, as you guys remember, we try to try to take them apart and there's just no taking them apart, you know? So it was only about 18 inches off the floor. It kind of dropped the whole thing. Uh, I was kind of lucky that I didn't hurt myself. I didn't, it didn't land on my leg or whatever. Um, but yeah, I was trying to rush, kind of running out of time and I was working kind of, uh, you know, unsafe don't do the same thing learn from me kids right now we're gonna go to the gas station fill this thing up so the tire is nice and full and then tomorrow we're gonna try to take it to the dmb and see if we can get it <laughs> we can get a permit for this thing That was uh, no go. The gas station did not have a working air pump, so I guess I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to do that. We took it off. It's actually pretty light because it's balanced. Um, it's actually a little bit heavier in the back, so that might be good according to uh, some of you guys out there in the comments. So that's it. Calling it. Calling it quits for tonight, tomorrow. Gotta try to get it legal. And, and the tire and cover it up, that's it. I stay in pretty good shape, I have all day to do that. All right guys, see you tomorrow. We'll be back next week at this same time. No, 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 what is that? No, I don't like that. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to leave some comments below. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe to our channels. Also think about becoming our patron by following the patron link. Uh, and don't forget to follow me on social media. All right, guys, see you guys tomorrow.